Damon, I know this is kind of your thing, but we do have to get going. Huh? Don't worry about it. We're the Bittersweet Gamers. I'm the Opinionator. And I'm Wii Squared. We're back with I, the Somnium Files, a game that is more of an amalgamation of all the other games we've done than we originally thought when we joked about it at the beginning. Or at the very <laughs> least, a game with more than a few familiar themes for BSG. It's not that we seek them out because of these uh, features, <laughs> but, well, they just seem to float towards us. Before we begin, let's see if there's anything interesting in the encyclopedia. A-Set, you bet! A kind of call-and-response game that A-Set plays with their fans, Japanese idols often create a special cheer or slogan for their fans to memorize in chanted concerts. A-Set's cheer works by A-Set announcing a category and having your fan come up with two words that rhyme with A-Set in that category. See, I told you, and we even did it! Odoin Kyoma. Oda's pen name, he started with a popular fictional character reference. <laughs> I'm just saying, synchronicity, synchronicity. And since nobody apparently who was watching ever realized what we meant when we said synchronicity, or so I hear, synchronicity was assigning meaning that does not exist to coincidences. It's just a coincidence even though we want to try to connect them. Uh-huh. <laughs> Coincidence. Uh-huh. By the way, do you want to know where we found out about synchronicity? In the encyclopedia, just like we're doing now. Coincidence? Yeah, probably. Well, Ota, can you reach it? Klein's gate? Remember, all of your choices have meaning. Sa koi! Ore no nozonda ton ton! Are you done? Do do do! Now for what really matters. We need to find out what strange likes, such as pelvises, Ota may have. <laughs> likes Aset and chocolate. Dislikes Tessa's enemies, such as himself. <laughs> and preachy people, such as Date. <laughs> and me. And Mayumi Matsushita. Dislikes every girl that Ota likes. This will no doubt cause problems for him later in life. <laughs> Last time we met these two, and uh, I think we're going to be dragging them along? <laughs> or at least Tessa, or A set, or, well, I don't know. Is there uh, something wrong? No, not at all. Are you maybe upset because she hugged me? Or you may be upset because she's coming and you're not? Well, I guess you can come along too. Not that Dante wants him along. Also, come on! She was totally blackmailing him. Oh, 100%! To get what she wants. Yeah. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. What a coincidence, me too! <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Oh my god, I just caught that pun. I have to make sure he doesn't out-billy me! I have to make sure Billy doesn't out Date me. Oh! Aset has a rather inappropriate smile on her face given the circumstances. She just put on like an instant performance where she launched her fine arts directly at Date, then started crying all while Ota was filming. The point being, I release this or you do what I want. <laughs> Otherwise, I will make you hated all over Japan. At least among a certain set of people. What are you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? Yes. I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh! And just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... <laughs> he should have just given in. Like I said, detectives can't help but have teenage girls going along as their assistants at crime scenes. Why are you doing this? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. That wiggle thing is... something. <laughs> A piercing insight. Well, Date does like pelvises, I guess. Oi! If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. I don't trust you. You want to know how you can tell? Look at her face! <laughs> <laughs> Date, 
a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. I guess I've taken her with me whether I want to or not. Ace it, you bet! Blackmail! Threat? You can't use threat! You already used threat before! I'm not playing this game at ASAP! Boo! <laughs> I'll get you next time. I hope it's not still cordoned off. The structure of this game is much more like Ace Attorney than I was expecting. <laughs> oh! Alright. Um, Mr. Date? Shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Keep my eyes on the road? I've got at least one of them paying attention to it. Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. You no, know, he's a cheater. It's because I was driving. <laughs> this car isn't domestic. It's made in Australia, so the steering wheel is on the right side. Oh, is that how it works? That's because they also drive on the left side of the road. And Indians use the left, too. What? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. <laughs> yeah, actually, most places in the world do drive on the right-hand side of the road. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. The steering wheel. More of a staring wheel at this point. This is a unique scene, isn't it? I also love how Iba or Date, like, there's only one vehicle on the road, and they're keeping it equidistant. <laughs> the dashboard. The dash has a ton of stuff built in. It has the speedometer, tachometer, and other meters and gauges. This ride is pretty rad, huh? It is indeed rad. <laughs> don't sound so excited or anything. I don't think I've ever seen, like, an examine lots of things in a sort of point and clicky format while driving. Yeah, I haven't run into that either. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, so, Damon, I, I thought of something. Eyesight is what Iba sees, right? So does this mean that when Date is facing forward, that his eye is turned in his skull, looking out the side of his face at Aset. <laughs> I'm not going to engage. <laughs> the glove box. Hey, you got any guns in here? Come on! <laughs> well, all she has to go off of is like stereotypes in the movies and such. Look, even if Date did have guns in there, which he might actually, <laughs> You don't, you don't get to touch them, okay? <laughs> There's two reasons that you don't get to touch them. Number one, uh, gun ownership is very, very, very restrictive in Japan. Mm -hmm. Number two, you don't let people touch guns to play with them. That's very irresponsible for a gun owner. It does not matter where you are, in what country, how old somebody <laughs> is. Guns are not toys. Oh my God. I bet you do. No. Not in there. The guns are in the trunk where I stuffed Oda. So you do have a gun. He's a cop! So about Oda. Why do you ask? I wonder what she's going to be like when he's not here. Is he not here? For all we know, he's sitting in the back seat. You two are very close for an idol and a fan. Oda is special. One day he'll hit puberty. He really is, like, a hero to me. Huh, now that's interesting. Well, because of the sock puppeting. Hero, huh? I don't think it's just sock puppeting that makes her say that. I mean, what, what probably happened is that he really did do those things and then wanted to continue getting praise, so he started sock puppeting. Okay, that but makes sense. there may be something that has happened. So, since this drive takes as long as it's going to need... Why did you become an idol? Well, I guess it was because... I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I gotta interrupt here. Is the whole of Japan just one big tunnel? <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you something else. Look at the street lights. This is the most brightly lit tunnel in all of human existence. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna be walking down here. But if they, if they were to walk down here, they will be able to see everything. <laughs> now you could say, but they're for the drivers. You don't need this many, because when you see the distance that they're spaced <laughs> apart, I'm just saying there's something remarkable about this. <laughs> Look, I can't let this game out BSG us, so I have to come in with something like this from time to time. I could respect that. All right, go go on, I said. I want to be famous. 
get on TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Hmm. Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. Okay. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Are you talking mayhaps of Minecraft? No, talking about Shovel Forge. Come on, aren't you paying attention? Yes, I am. Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Oh, you're right. That's completely not like Minecraft whatsoever. Okay, so <laughs> the last game we played was Steins Gate, <laughs> which was something of a... This is the state of Japanese culture in 2010 when the game takes place. Uh -huh. So what you're telling me is this is, in those ways, exactly the same as Steins Gate, even going so far as to reference Odoi and Kyoma. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to actually use his name because otherwise we'd get hit with copyright, you know, like about Shovel Forge. Isn't this just the state of Japan in 2019? <laughs> I suppose it is. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. Oh, uh, yeah? What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Yeah, YouTube's the way to go. <laughs> huh! I want to hear more about this. How did you start working for London Escape? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. We want you to play the video games and record it for us! Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Oh, yeah? A friend of Renju's? Yeah. This is the most interconnected family game so far. Like, <laughs> every character is really connected. And <laughs> We're like right in the beginning and we're dealing with a lot of characters, so that's weird. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. That's true. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Hmm. One day we'll even hear him speak. I'm sure he's one of the most important characters. Now, the question is, is, is he going to be portrayed as the culprit? Not will he be the culprit. Right, right, right. Do you have any questions for me that don't stem from pop culture? No. Questions. Questions. <laughs> uh, what's it like being a detective? Did you see that? Questions. And then... Eh. <laughs> Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? Well, sort of. It's just easier to say stuff like that well, and to go along with it. Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? I'm in Abyss. What indeed? <laughs> you aren't going to tell me? Please? It's a secret! What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Boy, I'm taking you to see a dead body! What a horribly manipulative person. Uh, I don't know if I'm impressed because she kind of has to be to get where she is and what she's doing, or... Not pretty impressed. Whoa, whoa hold up now. Well then, tell me! about that video you know now that i think about it are you gonna call her bluff wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too that's why blackmail wasn't really what i thought it was at first what the video you're an idol right you have a status to maintain yeah as far as i know idols can't be in relationships well i mean the reason for that is you can't ruin the fantasy yeah if that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble, too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Oh, dang! She double-called my bluff! Double-called her bluff? Uh... Because sometime real soon... 
I'm going to die. Not the response I was expecting. Hmm. Now, if it's, it could just be something as simple as a terminal disease. You know, I guess that actually makes sense of her desire to be famous, leave a mark on this world if I'm not going to be here for very long. Yeah, that would explain it. But the question is... A superhero from the DC universe? Why do I even bother? Never mind. What? I can see into the future. There, that makes a bit more sense. She, okay. Oh my god. Let me, let me explain what I just said. When I said that makes more sense that she can see into the future rather than die of a terminal disease, <laughs> what I mean is you wouldn't expect this to be very straightforward. Right. Okay, this is, a, this is going to be something of a surreal game. You want to know one of the reasons why we can tell that? Is it Iba? Because there's a flow chart. <laughs> why? Would there be a flow chart in a game made by the guy who did Zero Escape? <laughs> called the flow chart, no less. Uh, that was my second guess, and you can't prove otherwise. Because we'll be able to jump from branch to branch. Now, there's only one reason you would need to do that, because you need to do that. Yeah. In fact, we've experimented. It works just like it says already. So, <laughs> seeing into the future makes much more sense than merely terminal diseases. I know when I'm going to die. Great conversation so far, guys. <laughs> Just kidding! I hope so. Uh-huh. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. Good, you shouldn't. Even if you can see the future, that doesn't mean you have to accept it. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. That can't entirely be a lie. It can't. So to change the subject about Mizuki. <laughs> We're good friends. I do like these little animations, the, the I stock agree. animations. I agree. I think this game, I mean, this is clearly a visual novel. Uh, it's as much of one as Phoenix Wright is, I guess. But visually speaking, it's fantastic in terms of what they put on screen and stuff like that. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. Don't you think it's maybe a slightly weird that you're hanging out with a 12-year-old? Only if I don't think it's slightly weird she's hanging out with a 24-year-old. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. See? At least somebody brings <laughs> this up. <laughs> All right, about my special department. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. I investigate brains. The public doesn't know about it. <laughs> wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. Or I'll investigate your brain. <laughs> you want to know how I investigate your brain? I cut your head open and take it out. <laughs> yep, this is the brain, all right. Time to put it back. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Okay, that's nice and all, but does that mean anything to you? Because if you swear to something that doesn't mean anything to you, <laughs> then you're clearly just lying. What's your real name? By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Of course it is. Of course her name is Iris. Well, she's a foreigner. Can't you tell by looking at her? I mean, of course not. <laughs> Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? What can you call weird when referencing this game? Come on. What is Daddy that? Cake, Friday cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Uh. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Well, remember, he is a sinker. There is some impression that he is getting from her every time that he sees her. So now we call her Iris. How many more names are we supposed to have for her? <laughs> Well, for example, she doesn't have a pen name yet. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> no, it's nothing. 
I mean, we don't know what any of this means at all. We just have to keep going. <laughs> We're still really early in the game. Back here, huh? Been a while. Excuse me. You Konami Date. Why do you have a miner here? That's right. Well, because I need some help with Shovel Forge. I hear she's really good at... Oh, that's not what you meant. <laughs> not that kind of mining! <laughs> oh, you turned that around on me so wonderfully. <laughs> I feel like I'm rubbing off on you. Get your hands off me, you pervert. <laughs> and the girl? She's an important witness for this case. She's here to witness this case. No, there you go. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Okay, that's fine then, but my only question is why is she wearing cat ears? Uh, uh, why aren't you wearing cat ears? Do you think that's actually going to get me to change my opinion or perspective about <laughs> anything? <laughs> A set, you bet! Obstruction! Oh god, um, marmoset fishnet. That doesn't fit at all! You're supposed to do it about the subject! You bet, Aset. Moving on. Oh, uh, okay. That's cheating! <laughs> you can't keep cheating like this! Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. Well, here we go again. Now it's time to get it during the daytime. A panda ride. The type you can put a coin in. A black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, that just depends on your definition of punishment. Frankly, I think if I were to appear, it would be a blessing. I understand. It's a polarizing approach. A blessing in disguise. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. It's a bench! I wonder how many couples sat there. Why am I thinking about this? It makes me kind of angry for some reason. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out that one of Boss's dislikes is happy families. They're meant for each other. <laughs> Where is this anger coming from? How is he supposed to know? I, I guess you know, but you haven't told him. <laughs> a bench for couples. And a couple of benches. Ha cha 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 cha. Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Whoever got it there really went to a lot of trouble. Some people take pride in their pranks. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. A merry-go-round horse. Skewered upside down. Though is it really technically skewered if that's its natural state? Well, it looks like it's horses that have been skewered by being placed upside down. They look like they were skewered <laughs> because the entire object is placed upside down. They don't look like they were skewered upside down. That made sense, yeah. Okay, good. It looks pathetic. You look pathetic! <laughs> There's the Ferris wheel. It still reminds me of a giant eye staring down. Could we make any more eye references? I am literally traveling with a girl who sees the future named Iris. Well, maybe she doesn't see the future, but she probably does. Also, Iris. Well, yeah, that too. But the Iris is also part of the eye. I guess I should go go verify what it is that Isis, I. Sith, oh no, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. actually the goddess of. I mean, when it comes to Egyptian stuff, it's like, it's, it's complicated. It's not like just saying rocks <laughs> and, and assuming it's only that. It, it's like none of it is ever that simple. So, like, actually read up a little bit because there may be some meaning there. How's the investigation coming? Yeah, it's not looking too great. Could you speak a little louder? You're pretty far away from me. We searched all over here. We didn't find it. Yeah. We searched all over here! <laughs> Why are you standing so far away? It's okay, my eye has a directional microphone among all the other features it possesses. It probably does. It's a control room. Is that a phone booth? I just said it was a control room. No, in my mind. that's a phone booth. You can find a payphone in there. I am telling you the truth because I am a trustworthy adult. <laughs> no, it's the control room. 
This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> so was I! So what do you think about that? But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. I was thinking about making a superhero reference. Like, like Superman jumps into a phone booth and changes, but I didn't. And I paid for it. This has happened to me a few times. There have been some times I wanted to, like, make a call out to something that I that was going to happen. Uh -huh. I decided not to. And then in five minutes, the thing that I called out did happen. <laughs> and I was like, dang it! That, that happened when I was editing a video just a few weeks ago. <laughs> How old are you making that reference? <sighs> I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Okay, well, why does she look like that then? Why does Ota look the way he does? A uh, metal pole. Uh-uh-uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. No, I'm not. No one was thinking that until you brought it up. <laughs> you wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? No. What the hell are you talking about? Not until you brought it up, but since you brought it up. <laughs> Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. Duh. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Last night, I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? Where is she right now? She's not in the hospital, right? I'm pretty sure she was. Oh, maybe not, because she wasn't in a coma, she just couldn't talk. Or didn't talk. Iris is investigating the horse, looking over it curiously. What are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. You have to look at more than one thing. You have to be like me and look at everything. Meanwhile, Date then turns his head to his to the right, and then his eye goes <laughs> and starts staring sideways out of his the back of his head, and it's pretty creepy. I bet no one can sneak up on his left side at all. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't have to agree with me. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. You can tell because there's a police officer staring at it and, and probably blood. That's what I was about to say, yeah. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. How can you know that? You haven't seen the corpse! Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. No, I don't think we're playing that game. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around. No, that was Silent Hill. I just had the metal image of a bunch of cultists riding the merry-go-round, chanting like Latin. Stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. Why do you think this was a ritual murder? Now, clearly, however, it was a ritual murder. Mm -hmm. The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? <laughs> That's where the Egyptian eye comes from. Like the eye of Horus? Yes, I know. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Of course you know. Never mind, I just know. Well, Horus is Horus, of course, of course. <laughs> Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. Oh, I was wrong, eh? It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. No, you're not wrong. Do you remember what I was saying before about Isis? how Egyptian gods have a bunch of different... Really all do. We seem to want to... In more modern times, when you talk about some, some ancient god or something, you seem to want... I say you... Uh, people seem to want to just put it in a quick little box labeled this phenomenon or concept and then assume that that's all it is. It's like the concept of assuming that no one who lived before guns could have complex theology. Mm, mm, I see. The Eye of Providence? The All-Seeing Eye. There's a lot of eyes in this game in case you hadn't caught on. Oh, I see. Yeah, the Illuminati. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, the Illuminati. Yeah, exactly! Yeah, the Illuminati! The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry in the Illuminati. Yeah, the Illuminati! Starting to see the picture? 
As it turns out, both Billy and I used to belong to an organization connected with the Freemasons. Oi! Hmm? <laughs> no, I'm telling the truth. Not really. Okay, so what you're really saying is she's just like a conspiracy otaku? Yeah, probably. So how about actually answering the question that I asked about why you think this was a ritual murder? I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. No, there wasn't. Not when we found it, at least. Oh, that's right. I was thinking the ice pick was would have been in one of the places in her abdomen. That would make sense, because the eye was removed before she died, according to Iva. Right. But I suppose that actually could be true. Huh. That it's just that he would have stabbed it in after her death. Yeah. Horus? Providence? Left eye? You know, your logic is wrong, but your conclusion is correct. There's no way that that wasn't a ritualized murder. Totally. There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Oh, I'm glad you blackmailed me into coming along. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah, I like how this is... Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. Right. Mizuki had grabbed it and pulled it out. And then went and hid in the column. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And locked it from the inside, so she must have felt threatened by something. I still don't understand why there would be a lock on the inside, but I'll drop that. <laughs> if Ota's telling the truth. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Tinazuki? Well, she had to have pulled it out. Yeah. Of wherever it was. Because again, she's not bloody, so the wound wasn't fresh when she pulled it out. Have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? Yeah, it closed a couple years ago, right? I think so, yeah. No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. They hadn't mentioned why it was closed, right. but that this area was restricted came up before when in Mayumi's cafe. Right, because apparently her cafe is in the same district. Or near it. Yeah. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Okay, I understand why you would restrict this, but now that I'm thinking about it, that was eight years ago? Uh-huh. Isn't that actually just begging for it to become, like, a crime headquarters? Uh-huh. Also, I would like to point out that there's a village outside of Chernobyl called Chernobyl, <laughs> and people live there. <laughs> and that the radiation, the background radiation in the village of Chernobyl next to the Chernobyl reactor... You know, that's why it's called the Chernobyl Reactor, because oh, of the village of Chernobyl. Oh, I'm glad you told me that. I'm just making sure that you that there's no way I can be misunderstood. The background radiation at the Chernobyl Village is lower than it is in Rio de Janeiro. So. Okay. That's interesting information. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. See, okay, my point with this, right, <laughs> is that, is this place still dangerous? The outside of Chernobyl's not dangerous. Uh, the inside is, but the outside, no. So... So it seems a little suspect, right? After eight freaking years? I mean, what happened? Was there an invasion of, like, brain parasites? Good there's, thing I'm a brain investigator. There's something funny going on with this place's so-called... Restrictedness. Yeah. Are they okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. And for that matter, why don't they just, if they're never going to open the place back up for habitation or, or whatever, 
Why don't they just annihilate everything here? Like, do just demolish it all? Yeah, demolish it. It makes it less likely to attract crime and homeless people who are going to be victimized by crime. Yeah. Are we safe? Eh, probably not, but I'm Batman, so... We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. Then why? <laughs> Thanks for pointing out what David was talking about. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. So why is it still? <sighs> <laughs> but it's still off limits, right? The fact that they're talking about it means it's, it's an important thing. I also like how they're taking my complaint seriously. <laughs> yes, legally. That keeps the media out at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Do you hang around this section often? And when you do, it's normally much livelier. <laughs> By the way, this entire time, you have been staring at this horse. But you know what? You're wasting your time. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. Even though you've already dropped some rather interesting nuggets of information to consider. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Not a single clue? That is kind of strange. Or maybe a clue that he hasn't already found? I mean, where's the blood? We pointed that out at the time, too. Uh, for that matter, shouldn't they have found Ota's phone? He dropped it in a puddle. It was probably further on. Ah. Like he ran out of the park. Iba? Oh, check this out. Plucks Iba out of his skull. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> weird! My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? Huh? 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 Iris is investigating the horse, looking it over curiously. Uh, before we move on... Uh-huh. Okay, there is gonna be a lot to Horus... Well, I'll get to Horace in a second, but Iris. For one, haven't we encountered the imagery of an Iris before? In the dream world, there was an Iris. Oh! Duh! I completely forgot about that! Next, the Iris is a type of... Okay, there's all these puns, right? Yeah. Why are there all these puns? Because the game is trying to get you to look at multiple meanings of certain words. That's why there's so many puns. To get you, the viewer, or player, or whatever, to be thinking about, mm. like to prime your mind to be thinking about different meanings. An iris is not only a flower. An iris is not only an A set. Or part of an eye. But an iris is also part of an eye. What part of the eye is the iris? The colored part, right? Correct. The very center of the eye is the pupil. Outside uh -huh. the center of the eye is the iris. And there's a cornea, but something that surrounds the center of the eye, the iris, does her role in this game or something about her reflect that meaning? The meaning of being inside the eye. Next, um, I, I may not get this entirely right. Uh -huh. Osiris was the father of Horus mm -hmm. and Set was his brother, oh. Osiris's brother, I believe, maybe not. In any case, Set slew Osiris, and Horus ventured into the underworld in search of him or to put him back together. And it, it was after finding Osiris that he was able to be like sort of sort of complete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The eye imagery with Horus is, if I understand it correctly, associated with. Uh, discernment, like judgment, mm -hmm. seeing the truth, that may be a highly relevant concept for this game. Also, her name is Iris Sagan or Sagan or something like that. What is her name as an idol? A set. A who? A set. A set. And she is obsessed with Egyptian mythology. So I am going to go do some research on Egyptian <laughs> mythology because, again, all right. They want you to think about multiple meanings of everything. If her name is Iris, there's nothing unusual about uh, unusual about her having some sort of a, a stage name. Uh -huh. Okay, but the nickname Aset, it, it's not accidental. No, for instance, is the A part? Well, okay, I've gone far enough, but it's not <laughs> accidental. Oh, it's fascinating. Okay, wait, and she said that she could see into the future. Uh huh. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna spend some time with Egyptian stuff. Um. 
I'll have had it read not by the next episode, because we're going to record that one when we're done with this one. That's but, how we roll. But in the next week for us, I'll have spent some time with this. Another quick aside. Yes. Mizuki's Quick! Favorite. That was not quick! Mine's going to be quick! Mizuki's favorite flower is an iris. Mmm, okay. See, that's why we thought we saw the imagery in Date's mind, but there's probably the her, too, related to it. Is there anything else? Well, we'll we'll find that out later. We've spent enough time here. Enough horrifying around. Ha ha ha! She already made that joke. You robber! <laughs> Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Hmm? Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? There's no frickin' blood! What is your intention? Okay, okay, there's, is, isn't that blood a little bit of blood? I think this might be frills from her sleeve? If that is blood, sort of to the right of her visible hand, uh -huh. why is it over there? There should most definitely be blood in front. That's true. Also, the blood stain only goes far down, like it doesn't even go all the way down her skirt. Did someone take off her bloody pants? I think she was killed first and then put up there. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. There is... Right, I was following your logic to its natural conclusion. It's like there's no blood anywhere, but, but why is the rest of her not bloody? That's why I'm saying how much the body could have been altered in some way, such as removing another garment. Right, That would have had more blood on it. She should be just be drenched. And it was the... raining. Why didn't she have a coat? Hey, you're right. Well, I, she, yeah, the removing a garment thing, where that's where the, the other blood is going to be, if there is any other blood. That has to be it. That's got to be it. Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. <laughs> because when when we were out here, like all the cops had raincoats, and, uh -huh. and even the boss had the umbrella. And we know it was raining at the time that they found her because no, no, they had umbrellas and they were wearing coats. Yeah, yeah. In the flashback, Mizuki and Ota had umbrellas. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Do you like how? <laughs> at this point, I'd be ashamed if we didn't. It's just been a while. It's been a while since we would say walk up to uh, like a, a murder in Dongan Nompa and be like, okay, it was probably this. He was dropped from a tall height. We figured that one out. Not who did it, but right. what it means was we figured it out in like uh, the first two minutes after looking at it before even examining anything. I felt really good about that. Agreed. There isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. That must mean... I think we've done enough damage here. We should skedaddle. Aw, oh, come on! Just a little longer. No. <laughs> I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Hey, what was it that I said when she said all I swear to Isis? Isn't that meaningless if you... If she doesn't understand it or believe in it, but she knows all this Egyptian mythology. If that doesn't hold any importance mm -hmm. to you, well, maybe it does. Okay, I guess. Besides, I've already found something worth considering. Well, BSG got a lot out of this. <sighs> hey, you all right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. Oh, you're, you're full of it. I'm kidding. Told you. It's not <laughs> like I would know. Get on. Hmm. I'll give you a ride home. Yes, yeah, <laughs> score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? She won't say. Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady? <laughs> 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can do it just by lifting me? I've got an eye for it. Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. And see, just like Phoenix Wright. It turns out into a it turns out to be a kind of combination parentally relationshipy. Nobody's quite sure of what the real context is. Yes. Mm. Oh. And we're back in the car. It's still the dashboard. You no, know, I'm feeling kind of bored. <laughs> How do I respond with this? 
This cannot slide. You'd better put in some practice in your puns. I oh, oh man, you, I am so out of practice. You've got to be able to compete, and this game is going to seriously make you work for it. Like I said, I am sure that the puns are there to make you think of associating... That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Well, how about we play a board game? That's the best I got. You can't do that while driving. Come on. Sure we can. Let's play I Spy. Seriously? <laughs> you don't get to talk, Dante. The glove box. You know how stuff always gets beat up when you put it in here? Yeah, why is that? Well, it's not like it's secure in there. You're basically just putting it in a box where it can bounce around in. Okay, that would make sense, except for the fact that while you're driving, you don't hear shukwunk, 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 shukwunk from things sliding around every time you drive. All right, you may have a point. Don't you wish they could make these things a little nicer? Iris is sitting in the passenger seat. She seems to be doing okay, if that pun was any indication. How are you feeling? You're trying to get sympathy. You are manipulative and <laughs> dishonest. Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. I but, gave you a piggyback ride. Huh. You know, I guess saying she's doing it to get attention is not out of character for her. N no, not at all. She's an idol. That is literally why she does everything. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Well, maybe you were acting before. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? I'd be really impressed. I would put it right back where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't put up with any crap, except that he actually puts up with a lot. But when he's drawn the line, he's done. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> Iris opened the passenger window. And projectile vomited <laughs> out of it! That's not where I was going with this. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. You can't possibly find that hot, but that's pretty humid. Oh yeah. The humidity in Oklahoma, at least outside of winter, is usually like 80%, I think. It is monstrous. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Right. Hey, Date. By the way, the most humidity I've ever felt, outside of the swamps of Louisiana, I guess, <laughs> was in Kyoto in the rainy season. I swear you could see the water in the air. <laughs> they say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Oh, really? Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. I'll keep that in mind. David, no. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. No, that's Piccolo. Well, he's an alien. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? I don't think that part was a lie. See? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Probably because you have. The question is, is do you realize it? Well... That would also explain the... The weird flashback Dante had? Yeah, every, and remember when he first met her... There was kind of a boom. What was in that flashback again? It looked like they were playing some version of patty cake. Iris was a little girl, presumably playing patty cake with her father, but the perspective was whose? I assume Date's? So that was probably Date. Ages don't match up. He can't be her father. Right. And... <laughs> Anyway, conspiratorial stuff aside, he can't even say, like, well, I mean, I can't say that we have it. That's true. Because I have amnesia. Well, that's nice. <laughs> but if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... I'm a rip it off. I didn't think that went through very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's not gonna high-five any stop signs or something. The wind feels nice. You know... I may have my complaints about how they're pronouncing Japanese names, uh -huh. 
but the translation of this game is quite good. It is quite good. I'm very impressed. Voice acting is also great. You should come in. Because that will go well. Hold on. That room looks familiar. Yeah, what did we find in there? An iris. Now, what else did we find in there? A skeleton with a bloody eye. And what else did we find in there? Uh, a flower-shaped lamp and a box with Yasuhiro in it. And a hole to hell. <laughs> and if you move the basket, it was connected to Bonesy. <laughs> and a gun. And, oh, and the gun with the key on it, yeah. Do you have any guns in here? Of course, dream and dream logic, who knows, but... Right. It's something to keep in mind. No, that's all right. I'm going to head home. But it's important that they show us this room. Ooh, going home already? Yeah, because she's not in the center of the shot. She's on the side. Yes. So this... that we can clearly see inside. Yes, because the things that happen in the visual presentation of games are intentional. And one could argue that the visual presentation of this game is more significant, considering all the eyes. Actually, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. That's probably why, instead of just being a visual novel, there's so much visualness to it. Not just because it looks nice, but because I, if you don't have anything to see, then why can you make your game about eyes? Exactly. Where was that Illuminati eye? We didn't find the Illuminati eye there. It was just mentioned? That was just an image that was brought up. Like the eye of Providence, Horus, blah, 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 blah. I said my goodbyes, and then turned to leave. But out of the corner of my eye... Yeah? Isn't that the woman that was dead? Sort of after we solved the Somnium case? Unlock the mental lock and escape from his dream. Yeah, you're right. And, and then there, it was like the man with the black hair who looked like... It was like spiky black hair... And he was wearing a suit and uh -huh. was holding a gun. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I think that's her. No, I believe you're right. You're right. It is. Oh. I felt my body who freeze. Is this, Iris? Oh, she doesn't know either, huh? I felt my body freeze. Because that woman, she's. Yep. Yeah. No, it can't be. It can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. And then the woman is like, isn't a 30-year-old a little too old for you to bring home? <laughs> You're... Nice to meet you. If she's the love interest, and he starts the conversation by saying, I saw you dead, maybe we really are playing Klein's Gate. <laughs> I'm just saying, I Sai Kongru! <laughs> I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Oh yeah? Hitomi, is it? Hitomi! What, what does that mean? What the hell do you think Hitomi means? Does it mean I? Yes! <laughs> Miss Hitomi. And you are? Konami Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? We already went through this earlier. No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... You got that? Iris? <laughs> oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. Whew! Okay! We don't got time for another room! <laughs> hey. Yeah? I was gonna say, let's stop, and we are gonna be doing that, but, but look at the picture. You remember that picture? Oh, yeah! Okay, now that we have the whole context of that dream, it's like, look at the hair colors. On the left is Hitomi, in the center is Iris, 
And on the right... It's the mo- black-haired guy. Yeah, her father is the one that killed her mother in this I-can-see-the-future dream? Yeah, yeah. Of somebody else's? Yes. That may not be correct, but we understand what it is that we saw. Yes, exactly. Okay, we're keeping that in mind. And his name is going to be Sagan, so... If it were Japanese, and I can't, look, I'm not, I've said over and over in plenty of LPs, I'm not good with kanji for names, but Gan, Gan, uh, I in, know. in Sagan, I mean, that's I? Yep, I recognized it from other, like, Magan, Mystic Eye, yeah, that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, 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 so... The eyes have it. Why would her name be Iris? Is it possible? Okay, I've, I'm <laughs> spinning in circles! And I'm thinking about Egyptian gods, and we're early in the game, and this is already giving us so much to work with (laughs) in terms of things we can notice and pay attention to, and it's doing our job for us. I really love this game a lot. Me too. I guess it's time to end the video, Damon. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess so. Go ahead. Aye, aye, sir. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna exaggerate for effect. It, that was meaningless. That didn't hurt me. Because this games are getting me much worse. You're losing, Billy. I'm gonna have to step up my game. My A game? 